How we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. Now on today's show we're going to take a look at last night's action. There was the Carabao Cup, there was the Super Cup and of course there was the Europa League. And the last piece of news involves Pierre-Emerick Kabamiang because he's explained his reasons as to why he signed a new contract at Arsenal. I represent my fucking self. How we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. That's right. So the first place we're going to start is last night's action and no better place to start than the Carabao Cup. And it will be Liverpool against Arsenal in the next round because Liverpool um, beat Lincoln City 7-2. Now, Liverpool completely changed their side. I suppose the only surprise in there was Virgil van Dijk starting, but he did only play 45 minutes. Now, I haven't seen whether... That was because of an injury or precaution or anything, or it was just something that they planned. Um, but Liverpool, brilliant. Some really good goals in here. The first goal, Shakiri, um, brilliant goal. Um, but yeah, all round, it was a very, very comfortable evening for Liverpool. Um, I look at their starting 11 and I think to myself, you know what? I wouldn't mind them playing that next week against us. Because if they do, then we've definitely got a chance of winning the game. Um, yeah, it's just going to be interesting. The fact that we're playing them in the Premier League on Monday, I don't think it's going to have any bearing on the game itself because it will be two different teams, in my opinion. I don't think that either of us are going to go, um, you know, as strong as what we will in the Premier League, should we say. So... It'd be an interesting game and, you know, I've been asked this question already. If you had to pick one that you want to win, then I will go for the Premier League game because that's the most important. Um, you know, the Carabao Cup is a bonus and um, it is what it is. Um, the holders, Manchester City, they are through to the next round after beating Bournemouth 2-1. Um, a Phil Foden goal 15 minutes from time was enough to see them win the game. Um, and Aston Villa, they were comfortable winners against Bristol City 3-0. And um, that concludes uh, the games. And um, yeah, some decent action in there tonight. I you know, enjoyed watching some of those games. And um, plenty of goals, as there has been in football in general um, over the last few weeks. Um, the UEFA Super Cup final, of course, was yesterday. And that was Bayern Munich against Sevilla, the Champions League winners against the Europa League winners. And this was um, a tough game for Bayern Munich and um, more closer than a lot of people may well have predicted. Um, and it actually took an injury time goal um, for Martinez to uh, win the game for Bayern Munich 2-1. And... Um, Another note that was uh, quite interesting with this game, it was being played in Budapest and there were fans inside the stadium. Now, not a full capacity sellout stadium, but they were practicing social distancing and having a look to see how it went. And um, it looked decent and it looks so much better having fans inside the stadium. Um, the fact that it's a final and there's a trophy up for grabs and everything else. It's just so much better when fans can experience it and be in there. But Bayern Munich, it's another trophy for them. Um, the Europa League, um, there was a win for Celtic very, very late. A very easy win for Rangers. Um, and Spurs, they won 3-1. Now, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the team that they played. Khadija Tatova, I think. I have no idea. I'm so sorry if I got that wrong. Um, but a very interesting development, should we say, in this game. Is that the goals had to be changed. <laughs> Genuinely, if I never see this, and I would honestly think someone's pulling my leg. Um, Jose Mourinho had the goals changed in this game because they were five centimetres shorter than they should have been. Now, I don't know who noticed this or how five centimetres is 
my word, it's so small. How on earth do you notice that the goals are five centimeters shorter? Now, Jose Mourinho and his officials got UEFA delegates involved who actually measured and confirmed the goals were not the correct size. So they demanded the goals were changed and the goals were changed. <laughs> Honest to God, only Jose Mourinho could be involved in something like this, that the goals have to be changed. My word, I think I have seen it all now. I don't think I've ever seen a game where the goals have had to be changed because they're not the correct size. Staggering. If you know of this ever happening before, let me know in the comment section because I genuinely don't think I've ever heard of this before, ever. Never. So let me know in the comment section. Um, and yeah, that's up to date with all the, um, the games. There were a whole host of Europa League games. But I tell you something, if you think that I'm going to try it and read out all of these names, are you mad? There's some nice ones there like FC Copenhagen. No problem with that. But then there's like Budokonosk Podgorica. What? There's like, let's have a look here. Desna, that's okay. Wolfsburg, pretty simple. Oh my word. Anaphosis Famagusta. Danushka Strada. Kolos Kovalivka. Oh, mate. Some of these teams and potential places that Arsenal may well have to go to. Thank God we can't travel. Wow, just absolutely baffling some of these names. And I don't mean to be disrespectful in any way, shape or form, but there's just some absolutely unbelievable names that I've never heard of and I've got no idea how to pronounce. Um, there's some good names in there as well. Partizan Belgrade. Um... Yeah, like, wow, just absolutely insane. Look at this one. Sonjewski. Like, how, what? Listen, man, I can't wait for Arsenal to get back into the Champions League. Seriously, um, it is what it is. Um, last piece of news involves Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And of course, he has signed that new contract. And he was speaking exclusively to Sky Sports and explaining his decisions as to why he signed his new contract at Arsenal. Um, and he has given his reasons for signing the new contract as Mikel Arteta. So many of us have said it's because of Mikel Arteta as to why Aubameyang signed. And if he wasn't here, he wouldn't have signed. And um, Aubameyang has turned around and said, two things persuaded me to stay. The first thing was Mikel Arteta, because since he came in, he brings a lot of positivity and a new philosophy for us. Um, I think that was important because it matched my game and I feel that I can improve with him. I think this was a key factor as well um, as the love that he received from the fans and the whole club. So Aubameyang is making it very clear that the fans played a big part and Mikel Arteta played a big part. He goes on to say that everyone is treating me very, very good. Um, I feel at home and that's why I'm staying. We had a chat during lockdown and we were supposed to talk about a game and he said, okay, forget about it. We're going to talk about the future. And he asked me what I wanted to do. Um, I was like, I feel good since you came in. I'm improving and the philosophy is very, very nice. So I just want to stay. And he was like, I'm sure if you stay, you can leave a legacy. But it's all about you and what you want. Of course, you can leave and you can go and win trophies. 
um, but you can create a legacy here in this great club. And it's very evident what Aubameyang's been coming out and saying, the legacy and everything else. And Mikel Arteta has played an influential role in securing Aubameyang at Arsenal. And what I do hope as well, which obviously he's not going to come out and say, is that he was promised the club would be strengthening in the right places. And I hope over the next week or so, I can bring you some news of new signings and a couple in particular, that's for sure. So there we go. That is it for today's DT's Daily. As usual, let me know in the comment section what you think about today's topics. The Spurs incident with a goal. Please, please, please let me know in the comment section if you've ever heard of this happening before where the goal is too small and one of the opposition side managers and whatever has said they want it changed. <laughs> Unreal. Trust Jose Mourinho to be involved in that. So if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you smash a like on this video and I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.